Hello everyone, myself Pavit Kumar Mani, founder of Global Pharma Academy. Today we are going to discuss all about a very important uh, preparation that is interview preparation. And this is about the drug regulatory affairs. What is drug regulatory affairs? Basically, it is a connecting link between the regulatory authority of respective country and the manufacturing company. So that the uh, getting the project, then uh, getting to know the different regulations, prepare the document accordingly, then submit the document and get approval. This is the basic and major role of the regulatory affairs professionals. So in different organizations, like whether it is medical devices, manufacturing company or nutraceuticals company or the medicine uh, that vaccines manufacturing company or the consultancy firms, everywhere the regulatory affairs professionals are needed. So the drug regulatory affairs is one of the growing job okay, in the pharmaceutical industry. The pharma people or the life science also BAC, MSc people can also able to apply for this job. In terms of scope and future also it is good even though in terms of the artificial intelligence or machine learning drug regulatory repairs opportunities are growing and still growing okay so uh, if you want to build your the career in the drug regulatory affairs which is a white collar job basically it is a desk job and the work culture is again good so you have to learn the drug regulatory affairs different guidelines and compliances for more information and getting in-depth knowledge with the placement assistance help, you can join our three-month certification course in the Drug Regulatory Affairs, which provides domain knowledge, skill development and placement assistance. So shortly we started our new batch. In the description, I provide you all the details. If you want to know more, kindly call to this number. You will get to know everything from our student coordinator. So come to the video. We started uh, in this video on discuss all the interview questions for the drug regulatory affairs professional. So this video is for the fresher and also experience as well. Okay. So uh, all peoples can watch this video till then prepare yourself because there is a question also an answer as well. Okay. For the technical round question. So let's get started. First of all, I will told you uh, the interview preparation should be depend on the type of the interview, whether it is walk-in interview, whether it is scheduled interview. In case of the walk-in interview, if the candidates are more and the positions are less, then they will take a group discussion, aptitude test, okay. Uh, so likewise, even assessment test, then go further. And otherwise, in the technical round or in the walk-in also, two rounds are very common. That is HR round, okay, and the second one is technical round. HR round is all about your individual preparation. They will ask, tell me about yourself, why you want to join this company, what you want to, what you know about our organization, what is the role of regulatory affairs professional, why you want to do this job. If we select you, how long you will be stay with our organization, how much packages you are needed. Uh, so this kind of the fresher question in case of experience, they will ask why you left your previous organization. Okay, and uh, tell me about the challenges you face in the previous organization. Tell me the appreciations or recognition you got in the previous organization. Uh, tell me about your manager, tell me about your job, everything they will ask about uh, your previous job, even in the project if you have done previously. Likewise, the HR question should be. So let's move about the, uh, the technical round. First question is, what is the difference between NDA and ANDA? The NDA means new drug application. It is required for the approval of new drug that has not been previously marketed. It requires a comprehensive data on the drug safety, efficacy and manufacturing process. Then AND, abbreviated new drug application. It's used uh, for generic drugs and required proof of bioequivalence to an existing approved drug. It does not require the same level of clinical data as NDA as the reference drug has already been shown to be a safe and effective. Then next question. Uh, how do you ensure GMP GCP compliances? The answer is ensuring compliance with GMP and GCP, which is good manufacturing practice and good clinical practices, involves rigorous internal audits, training programs, regular updates on reg uh, regulatory guidelines, and maintaining the standard operating procedures. Uh, I uh, like you can tell I also work closely with the cross functional teams to conduct risk assessment and implement corrective corrective actions as needed. Then the next question will be the describe your experience with CTD and ACT, e CTD submission. Uh, the next, uh, the answer should be CTD is common technical document and e CTD electronically, electronic common technical document. Okay. Uh, then the next will be uh, how do you prepare for a regulatory inspection? Uh, it is for the experienced person. So the answer will be the preparation includes conducting internal audits, ensuring SOP are updated, reviewing documentation and training teams member on inspection process, 
uh, I also prepare a checklist and assign role for quick access to uh, required information, uh, helping to ensure a smooth inspection. Next one, how do we handle unexpected regulatory challenges? Then the answer should be uh, address challenges by thoroughly uh, assessing the issues, consulting a relevant stakeholders and using regulatory knowledge to devise solution and also maintain open communication with regulatory authorities if a clarification are needed and documented documents all steps take to resolve the issue then the next uh, uh, like even it is fresher as well uh, how do we manage multiple projects with tight deadlines so it the answer should be a prioritized project based on the regulatory deadlines and impact set clear milestone and maintain organizes organize the documents effective communication with the team members and proactive planning also help me manage task effectively to meet deadlines. Uh, then uh, the question will be how do you stay updated on regulatory changes? Then uh, you can tell I subscribe to regulatory newsletters, participated in webinars, attended industry conferences, and engage with the professional organization. I have uh, I also have regu regular discussion with the peers to exchange uh, insights on uh, recent changes. Uh, then the next one, how do you work with the cross-functional teams on the regulatory project? Uh, then the next answer should be a prioritize transparent uh, communication, setting clear objective and assign respect responsibilities early uh, in the project. Regular meeting updates helps ensure alignment, especially when coordinating with R&D, quality assurance and clinical team. Uh, then the next uh, question will be, uh, how do you resolve conflict between regulatory and internal teams uh, then the answer should be address conflict by uh, clarifying regulatory requirement understanding the team con uh, concerns and finding common ground if necessary a facilitate discussion to ensure uh, everyone understand the regulatory perspective and importance of the compliances uh, then the next question how do we ensure a submission uh, documents are accurate then the question answer should be i use checklist and cross reference all information with original data reviewing the document multiple times alongside peer reviews helps catch any potential errors before submission. What skills are essential for success in regulatory affairs? Uh, answer should be strong communication, adaptability, problem solving skill, deep understanding of regulatory guidelines and essentials uh, and the complex project handling and ensure compliances. Next, uh, for pressure, what is the role of regulatory affairs in drug development? Regulatory affairs ensures the drug comply with the regulatory uh, requirements throughout, the, uh, throughout their development from preclinical testing to post-market surveillance. They manage uh, submission to agencies like FDA, EMA and ensures compliance with the guidelines. Then next question, what is the difference between NDA and BLA? NDA is new drug application is for the small molecule for drug while BLA biological license application for the biologicals like vaccine or antibodies. Next question for the pressure, what is GMP and why it is important? Good manufacturing practice ensures drugs are consistent, produced to meet quality standard. It is crucial to guarantee drug safety, efficacy and quality. So hopefully you understood the technical question for the drug regulatory affairs and you can prepare accordingly. So this video is all about drug regulatory affairs interview preparation. If you want to build your career in the drug regulatory affairs, you can join our three month certification course in the drug regulatory affairs, which provides all information which needed to even upskill yourself in the drug regulatory affairs. Even you can at entry level also, this course will be beneficial. So uh, the benefits of this course is you will get expert learning from the 10 plus year experience people will teach you. The course is online. You will get the recordings as well as study material also and placement help. For more information call to this number or in the description I provide you all the details. Just connect with us or uh, visit us as www.globalpharmacademy.com. That's it from this video. Hope you like this video. If you like the whole content, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel, which provides various certification course information as well as uh, the different interview preparations information and career guidance. Thank you for watching. I wish you all the best. Happy learning.